hope you are doing well and uh, you probably noticed we've kind of changed the view here. I'm just making sure that the shadow, I don't know what that shadow is about. Well, we'll just deal with it. So, um, I think from the polls that I've done, a lot of people use their phone and they actually prefer this horizontal um, view. So, that's what I wanted to bring to you guys. So, I'm sure you already have your mat out. Go ahead and get yourself all ready. Come on down to the floor. You can take a sip of your water right now if you'd like. And let's begin. Hope you guys are doing well. Come on down to your mat. Come into a nice, comfortable cross-legged seat. And just go ahead and close your eyes. Sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. One more big breath in. And exhale, press that air out. Great, just let that breath come in and out through your nose. Nice natural rhythm. Bring a smile onto your lips. Begin to release your shoulders down your spine, making sure we're sitting up nice and tall. And just begin to notice what's going on in your body. Notice where you might be holding in that tension. Notice where you're just completely tensing up and you just can't let go of those muscles. Give yourself a little shoulder roll, a little shake through your core. Move those legs just like slightly and just let them relax. Tuck your chin back in space. Big breath. With that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Take a big inhale, feel both of them pressing away from your body. Inhale. And exhale, pull your belly button into your spine, press that air out. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, press it out. Inhale. And exhale. Right. You can release your hands down. Inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Feel your hands gliding onto your thighs here. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Great. Just release your hands down. Set them back behind you, fingertips pointing towards that front wall. You can either try to press your palms into the floor or come up onto your fingertips. Find what's comfortable for you. And with the next inhale, really lift your chest towards the ceiling. Loop your shoulders back and around your spine. Look up. Nice length from the top of your head down to your tailbone. Press into the palms of your hand if you can. And exhale. Release, just come forward, sit up, give yourself a little shoulder roll here. We'll do that one more time. Hands go back, chest comes forward, loop those shoulder blades back and around your spine. Inhale, exhale. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, come forward, give me a shoulder roll. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. Big stretch here, look up. And as we exhale, release that left hand down, lean, right hand down, lean to your right. Turn your chest towards the ceiling here. Spread your 10 fingers of that right hand, 10 fingers, Ooh, five fingers of that right hand. Spread them nice and wide. And see if you can inch them away from your body, coming down onto that forearm. You can always bring that top arm down to your hip if you'd like, or even at your shoulder. Find what's comfortable for you. And just focus on that breath. Big inhale, feel the left side of your body expanding. Exhale, pull your abs in. One more breath here, in and out. 
knee inhale, press into that right hand, all the way back up, arms lift overhead, big stretch. And exhale, release the left hand officially this time. Lean over to the left, look up under your arm, turn that chest towards the sky. Inhaling in and out. Really again, feeling the right side of your body, expanding away. Seeing if you can drop down into the forearm of that left hand. Finding those subtle changes that are just going to challenge you ever so slightly. One more big breath here, in. And exhale, all the way back up, arms lift up and overhead, interlace your fingers, spiral them towards the ceiling here. And then as we exhale, drop them to the base of your head, right where it connects to your neck. Inhale, open those elbows as wide as the room, look up. And as we exhale, we're gonna round through our spine, pulling it towards the back wall. Allow your elbows to fall forward, tuck your chin into your chest. Feel that stretch from the base of your head all the way down to your tailbone. You might feel a slight burning sensation, just lift up out of it just slightly. Find your comfort zone. And just focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale. In. And out. With that neck to nose starting at our hips, we're going to roll up through our spine. Inhaling in. Open your elbows wide as we reach the top. Look up. Feel your shoulder blades rolling in towards your spine. And then as we exhale, we'll roll it back. Let those elbows fall forward. Chin to chest. Holding it here. Focusing on those big breaths. In. And out. Inhale, slow and control, roll all the way back up through the spine, open those elbows, look up. And exhale, extend, release your hands left and right, spiral through your wrists, and bring them back onto your knees. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through your arms here, press that chest forward. And exhale, let it go. And this time we're going to lean forward slightly, bending our elbows, look up. Exhale, round, pull your back towards the wall behind you, straighten through your arms, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Just getting some movement through our spine here. Last one. Great, come on back into that tall seated position. Inhale, lift those arms up one more time. Exhale, twist to the left. Catch that right hand on your left knee. Look over your right shoulder. You can stay on the fingertips of that left hand. Really loop that left shoulder back away from you, opening up through the chest, feeling that stretch coming around the right shoulder blade here. Part your lips just slightly. Releasing through your neck, through your jaw. And just breathe. Big inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. In. And out. Inhale. Lift those arms all the way up. Come back to center. Look up. And exhale. Release to the right this time. Look over that right shoulder. Feel a nice twist through your spine. Pull that right shoulder towards the center of your back. Part your lips. Just really feel that stretch going down the left side of your neck, down that left shoulder blade, and down your spine. Always focus on getting as big of an inhale as you possibly can. Inhale. Exhale, press your abs in, send that air out. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up, big stretch. Wiggle through your fingertips. And exhale, float them down to your side. Give me a shoulder roll. And we're gonna come on to all fours. So bringing your knees directly underneath of your hips, your wrists right under your shoulders. 
You can keep the tops of your feet flat down onto the floor or you can curl your toes under. Find what's comfortable for you here. <clears throat> Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press away from the floor. Take a big inhale. Get a nice flat back. And exhale. Let it go. Inhale. Drop your belly. Send your gaze forward. Lift through your hips. Press away from the floor with your hands. And as we exhale, round through, pull your back towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Three more with your own breath. Two to go. And last one. Great job. Bring your big toes into touch. Open your knees as wide as your mat. And I want you to take a wide stance with your hands, bringing most of your fingers onto the floor. Press away from the floor. You can walk your hands a little closer to your body if you need. And as we inhale, open that left arm all the way up. Big stretch here. Feel that line through your whole body. You might even feel a stretch through your side here. Inhaling in. And as we exhale, we're going to tap it down to the right side, feeling that twist through your spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Add a little resistance as you're bringing that arm up. And add a little resistance as you're bringing that arm down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. And this time with that exhale, we'll go ahead and plant that hand. We'll go to the opposite side. So inhale, open that right arm all the way up. Hold it at the top here. Feel that stretch. Press away from the floor with that left hand. And with your exhale, we're going to go ahead and tap it down. Inhale, resist as you come up. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, resist. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Great. Go ahead and plant that hand down. Bring your knees back into center. And we're going to go right into a child's pose. So I guess you can keep your knees wide if you would like. Just bring your forehead all the way down to the floor after you've sent your hips to your heels. Arms lengthened overhead here. I want you to come onto the fingertips here, lifting your arms away from the floor and feel yourself trying to loop your shoulders back and down your spine like you're tucking them in your back pocket. Inhaling in and out. And with that next inhale, walk your hands to the left side of your mat, feeling yourself pull that right hip towards the back right corner. Getting a nice stretch again through that right side. Keeping those fingertips pressed into the floor, arms lifted. See if you can relax your head down a little bit more. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale. One more here. In. And as we exhale, we're going to walk our hands over to the right side. Sink that left hip towards the left edge of the back corner. And again, just Feel that stretch through your entire side body. Through your lats, through your arm. Maybe even starting at your hip, feeling that stretch. And one more breath in. And with that exhale, walk yourself back to center from back into our tabletop position. Curl your toes under, take a big inhale. And then as we exhale, we're going to send our hips all the way up to the sky. You're going to bend in your knees if you need to. Spiral your biceps towards the wall in front of you. Press into your index finger your knuckle and your thumb here, pressing away from that floor. And seeing if you can drop your heels a little closer to the floor. If not, that's okay. Take a big inhale. And exhale. 
Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, lifting that upper body away from the floor, straightening through your legs, bring your hands to your shins or your thighs, and you are halfway lift. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, drape your upper body over your lower body, tuck your chin into your chest, and just focus on that breath. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lifting into our halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're going to roll all the way up to standing. Straightening through your legs. Tucking that tailbone under. Rolling up through the low back. Mid back, upper back. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Lengthen through your neck through the top of your head. Spread your fingers nice and wide, keep them at your side. Inhale, and exhale. Relax your shoulders away from your ears here. Inhale, and exhale. Great, look down towards your feet, turn your toes inwards. You'll notice your knees are gonna to start to bend here, and that's okay. I want you to press your knees towards the back wall, send your hips forward, and with your next inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers, press your palms towards the ceiling, hold it here. Focus on that breath, big inhale, and exhale, let it go. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, release your hands, point your toes forward, give a little shimmy shake through your whole body. Just feel loose here. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift those arms all the way back up, slight back bend at the top. And as we exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down the step. We're going to step one foot back and then the other. You can always drop down into a modified plank if you need to here. Angle your fingertips towards the edge of your mat just slightly. Make sure your wrists are right up your shoulders. Press away from the floor. Nice flat back here. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to hold this plank just for a couple breaths. Pull your belly button in your spine. Spiral the inner thighs towards the ceiling here. One more breath. You can do it. In. And with our exhale, keep your elbows into your sides, slow and controlled, release all the way down. Bring your belly to the floor, uncurl your toes. Inhale, press into your hands, lift your upper body, engage your glutes here. Loop the shoulders back and down your spine, pull your chin back in space. Feel a nice stretch through the front side of your body. And as we exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat, send your hips to your heels, coming back into our child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. And just let that breath normalize in and out through the nose. Nice natural rhythm. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. next inhale, find the flow all the way up to our tabletop position, curling your toes under this time. Inhaling in. And with your exhale, send your hips all the way to the sky, downward facing dog. 
Pull your chest towards your thighs here, biceps come forward, press into that index finger and your thumb knuckles, and try to lengthen through your legs a little bit more. And if you can't, that's okay. You can always have your heels lifted and your knees bent. I want you to play around with dropping one heel and then the other, just kind of finding a little pedal through your feet here. And then come back into stillness. Inhale. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and only step your left leg forward. Bring that hand outside of your left foot here. Inhale, look forward, lift your chest. You can keep that back knee lifted or you can lower it down to the floor with those toes tucked under. Find what's good for you, find that challenge. Go ahead and plant that right hand down on the floor. Inhale, open that left arm all the way up here. Make sure we're looping that shoulder back and down our spine. Look up towards the ceiling, out to the side, or down to the floor, but don't let gravity take control. Resist gravity here. Keep your neck nice and stable. Inhaling in and out. And again, choosing that variation that's comfortable for you here. One more big breath in, and as we exhale, plant that left hand down, open up the right arm. Big inhale in, and exhale, go ahead and plant it down, lower that back knee, uncurl your toes, send your hips to your heels. Get a nice stretch through that front leg, it's okay if you have a little bend in that front knee, or you can try to straighten, lifting those toes away from the floor. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, press into your fingertips, lift through that upper body, look forward. And as we exhale, we're going to pull our upper back towards the ceiling, tucking that chin into your chest. It's kind of like a modified cat cow in this position. Inhale, shift your chest forward, lengthen. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. One more here. In. And out. Great. Bring your fingertips forward. Roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift that knee away from the floor. We're going to step that right foot up to meet our left. Forward fold. Inhale, length and halfway lift. Nice straight legs. Flat back here. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, and with that next inhale, we're going to draw a big circle in our arms as we stand all the way up. Arms up and overhead. Slight back bend at the top. Thumbs point to that back wall. And exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms. Step your opposite foot back this time, and then the other. And again, you can always take that modified and move through your vinyasa. Inhale, lifting into our up dog. And exhale, send it back into our child's pose. Hips to heels, forehead all the way down, eyes closed. You can have your arms extended way out front, fingertips lifted if you want an active pose. Or you can walk your hands a little closer to your head. Just finding a little more relief here. Focusing on that breath, big inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale, this time stick your tongue out. Let it go. Inhale. One more, just like that. Let it go. Great. And just let that breath come in and out through the nose. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Bring a big smile onto your lips. I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today.
Move your next inhale. Find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. <clears throat> oh, excuse my throat today. Take a big inhale. And exhale. See if you can lift your hips a little higher here. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. This time we're going to step only that right leg forward. Frame your foot with your hands. You can keep that back knee lifted or lower it down. Plant that left palm on the floor, fingertips slide. Inhale, open that right arm all the way up. Big stretch here. And again, you can have that knee lifted or lowered. Focus on your breath. Big inhales. Big exhales. One more. In. And as we exhale, we're going to lower that hand. You can lower your knee if you'd like. And open up that opposite arm here. Playing around with the positioning of your head. Lifting or lowering that back leg. And with your next exhale, send it down. Lower that back knee. Uncurl your toes. Send your hips to your heels. Flex your toes towards your nose. Inhaling in. And out. Come on to your fingertips here. Inhale, press into the floor, lengthen through that upper body. And exhale, round. Pull your upper back towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, send your chest forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Great job. Inhale. Roll through that front foot. Bring your hands forward. Curl your back toes under. Lift that knee away from the floor. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale. Fold. Inhale. Big circle. All the way up. And exhale, release your hands back behind your back here. Interlace your fingers. You can try to keep your palms together or have them come down into more of a little box. And with that next breath, I want you to loop your shoulders around your back. Draw your knuckles towards the floor. Lift your chest. Look up. Focus on your breathing here. Big inhale. And exhale. Tuck that tailbone under. Two more breaths here. In and out. Last one. Great. Go ahead and release. Give yourself a little shoulder roll. And then inhale. Lift those arms all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale. Fold. Plant those palms. Step one foot back and then the other. And move through your vinyasa. Send it all the way back into your child's pose. This time bring your hands right under your shoulders. Allow your shoulders to roll forward here. Feeling the weight coming into your forehead. You can rock your head left and right. Massaging through that forehead even. And getting a little release in your sinus cavities. Or you can just stare at here in the center. Focusing on that breath. Inhale. And exhale. And if you'd like to take it a little further, you pull your knees into the center. And release your forehead back down. And bring your arms all the way back by your feet. Palms open to the sky. And then again, just let your shoulders fall forward. And just focus on that breath. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to focus on a third thing that you're grateful for from today.
And then next inhale, bring your hands right under your shoulders, palms down, and then press yourself away from the floor, coming on up into a kneeling position here. Hips to your heels, sitting up nice and tall, pull the shoulder blades back and down your spine. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, float them down to the sides. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, resist as you begin to lower down this time. Inhale. Exhale, resist. Great job. Go ahead and send your body weight forward. Curl your toes under. Slow and controlled. Send your weight back into your heels here. If there's any discomfort in your feet, just lift up out of your hips just slightly. Again, looping the shoulders back and down your spine. Take your right hand to your chin. Press it back in space. Really feeling that length through the back side of your neck. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Release your shoulders down your spine. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Great job. Send your body weight forward, your feet to one side or the other. Release your bottom all the way down to the floor. Go ahead and plant those feet down on your mat, getting a bend in your knees here. Take your hands right on your shins. Inhale, lengthen through that spine. Exhale, pull your knees in towards the center. Open your hands up in front of you, palms open to the ceiling. Take a big inhale. As we exhale, sink it back, beginning to go into our boat pose. I know it's your favorite. The trick here is to make sure we're not rounding through our spine. Engage your core. Feel your abs pull, your belly button pulling towards your spine here. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Just find that area of resistance. Knees come in towards the center. Inhale. Exhale. Sink it back a little bit. Now, if you'd like to take an additional challenge, lift one leg and then the other, pointing your toes to the wall in front of you, making sure you're not collapsing in your spine. Lift your knees, lift your chest, pull those knees into the center. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths here. In. Out. Feel that shake. Feel that burn. It's okay. One more breath. In. And exhale. Slow and control. Release all the way down. Extend those arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Point your toes. Lengthen through your fingers. And as we exhale, release your hands down to your hips. Walk your feet back towards your hips here. Inhaling in. Press your palms down. Inhale, lift your hips towards the ceiling, getting a little reverse action here. And as we exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lifting, pulling your knees in towards the center, setting your hip points even higher. And exhale, lower. We'll do one more. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Holding it at the top, pulling those knees in, lifting your hips a little higher. Take a big breath. And exhale, let it go. One more here. In. And exhale, slow and control. Release it all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Catch them with your hands. Give yourself a little tug. Lifting that tailbone away from the floor. And just find a moment in stillness. You can roll through your ankles here, one way, and then the other. <sighs> Take a big sigh if you need to. And when you're ready, we're just going to release that left leg down. Send your right hand to the wall behind you. We're going to get a 90 degree bend, so your arm is kind of like a goal post behind you. And then send that right knee over to the left side of your mat. Look towards your right hand here. Feeling a stretch through your pec, through your spine as we twist. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale, trying to keep that right shoulder blade down on the mat. Two more breaths here. In. 
Out. Last one. Great. Inhale, roll back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Give them a little tug. And then send that right leg down this time. Bring that left arm into your goal post. And then send your knee over to the right side edge of your mat. Try to keep that left shoulder on the floor this time. Look towards your left fingertips. Inhaling in. And out. Just again, really focusing on that breath. Two more. Last one, make it count. Big inhale. And exhale. Release yourself back to the center. Pull your knees into your chest one final time. Give them a tug. Find your stillness. And then when you're ready, release one leg and then the other. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. Bring your palms down to the floor, open them up to the ceiling. And just get yourself nice and relaxed here. You guys made it. Our final pose, Sarasana. This is our time to just be still, be present, and just focus on our breath. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, biggest breath you've taken all day in. Exhale, twice as long. Catch that breath. And just let it normalize. Go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, pat your eyelashes open and close. And when you're ready, roll on your side facing knee. Use your arm as a pillow. We'll take a breath here. <clears throat> Inhaling in and out. Inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on up into a comfortable cross legged position. Again, sitting up nice and tall, eyes closed, hands in your lap. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, release your head forward. Feeling your practice. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys liked this flipped orientation. 
Um, the trick is to put your phone into um, the anti-rotation lock, and that will make sure that it stays stable like this. I'll put that in the caption because it's more useful at the beginning of this practice than it is right now. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well, staying happy and healthy, and I will see you guys again in the very near future.